<laughs> uncle Jerry uh, married my mother's sister, so uncle, he's my uncle Jerry, and, and Adam's my cousin, and I'm cousin Josh, and uncle Josh. And um, I'd just like to say that um, I'd like to talk about honor because Uncle Jerry's probably the one of the most honorable human beings I've ever met. It's it's an honor to be his his nephew, and it it's hard sometimes to be uh, to, to to be proud of being a a human being or a, an American or a, a, a Jew, but Uncle Jerry makes me proud to be a human being because he is a, a Renaissance man. He he makes me proud to be an American after seeing going with him to see the B-52, B-24 B bomber that he was a navigator on. It, it makes me proud to be an American. And he makes me proud to be Jewish because, well, I'm, you know, that, that goes along with being a human being. We're, we all have things to be proud of, but I'm proud to be Jewish because Jerry really exemplifies everything good about being Jewish. And... Uh, I just feel blessed. So that's that's what I have to say. <laughs> oh, he's great. He always tells me about how he fly, he uh, navigated the B-24 bomber and all of his missions. And, well, he helps me out with school. And he doesn't look a day over 24, so I don't know. <laughs> Amazing to, to get to know to get to know Jerry and I got to know him through Hosani, which is just incredible. You know, Hosani's mom works at the home where, where Jerry lives, and Jerry takes an interest in everyone he meets. So he talked with her and met Hosani and called me when Hosani talked about the school. And so I you know I run a public charter middle school in Baltimore City where Hosani attended, and so our goal the name is? it's called KIPP now, which is Power Program, and our goal is uh, basically work with with children in the inner city to help them uh, graduate from college ultimately. And so we give them an intense middle school experience and help them get into competitive college prep high schools and continue to support them to and through college. And, you know, the thing with Hosani, um, he has such an incredible support and friendship, obviously, in Jerry. And, um, you know, I was just saying earlier, uh, you know, we hope the best for all of our students, but I wish every one of our students had a mentor like Jerry. And no one has a mentor like Jerry because... You know, <laughs> I'll say is just, um, you know, Hosani obviously I think has been incredibly blessed and he speaks to that uh, by knowing Jerry, but I, I have as well and I'm incredibly grateful and I, I, I probably got, you know, less than one-tenth of one, you know, one percent of the number of clippings you've gotten out of movies, but I've gotten, I've gotten great advice from him over the years and I just appreciate everything. Again, you've been an incredible support and mentor, so thank you. It's been, yeah. For a librarian, this is was a dream. Adam moved up in terms of um, renovating the Central Library, but when he said, you know, my dad is coming to town, and, he told, and that was, for a librarian, that's just it, to meet someone like him, and to talk to him about books, and he's even encouraged me to try to write. Yeah. <laughs> been just a, a joy because Margaret McElderry was a legend in children's librarianship and everything, so thank you. Uh, three of my absolute, uh, three of the most important people in my life are here in addition to many, many important people of my, of my life. And um, only my father could actually get them to come here. So one is Kathy McCormick, <laughs> the other is Ben Kishimoto and his wonderful wife Elaine and the other is Reed Axelrod and Annie. And we all uh, know each other from college, and we all kind of were in Boston or around my parents around the same time. And my parents had like a club. Like they would have us all over to dinner and a bunch of other friends, and it was the most amazing time, and it's just so great that you guys came. I'm so, I'm so thrilled that you guys came, and, and it's just such a great testimony to my dad that uh, he could get us all together. It <laughs> <laughs> just really means a lot. So yeah. thanks, Dad, for that as well. I'm Jerry's nephew. Flora's my aunt. My father was and my Flora's brother. And what I said in the card was, Jerry, you've got very broad shoulders 
and a very big heart. And you know what I mean when I say that. You came from humble beginnings to great places, one of the greats of the greatest generation, but you always had time to help and inspire other people, as this testimony indicates tonight. So God bless you. I want to thank Jerry for being an incredible influence on my husband's whole life and making my children the recipients of those gifts because when they had book reports, they books and they still get clippings. So Jerry, I, we couldn't be more thrilled to all be here with you and celebrating. Okay. It's it's amazing to have a father that you can share with with everybody. I mean, he's like a father to er all everyone he meets. Yeah. And, um, you know, that just reminds me, you know, he's just... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it is. It's, like, it's, like, it's, so, it's fun to, to, to be able to share your father with everybody. And that there's that much to share. It's endless, it's endless to share. So, anyway, it's fun. That whole family was such a great... <coughs> It was such a wonderful friendship that I, you know, I remember all of it and how important it was to my family. And Jerry was always important in our lives and Flora. That I can tell you that when uh, I met Jerry and Flora, and Adam was five years old, and Sarah, we were very small. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just immediate, immediately, we felt so close. And they accepted me as long as, as, as though I had been, been with them as long as Albert had been. That was a long time. And the fondness of the remain there, solid, fantastic. So thank you, Jerry. <laughs> Everybody lift your glass. Jerry, this is a very old, my name's Kathy McCormick, and this is an old Irish blessing. Mazel Tov! <laughs> so I hope you all had a chance to look at these pictures. Um, old pictures of my family and my dad with my sister. So we were on the vineyard uh, this summer. We go everywhere that my dad took us to our whole lives. And uh, Perry and Kyle, I think, were, or somebody was at this little tag sale earlier, and they came running over to me, and they said, Dad, look at this painting. These are B-24 bombers, which, if you don't believe in karma, yesterday I stopped by Brightwood where my dad lives, and... Uh, I ran into the security, the security guy at Braywood, and he said, "Oh, you know, well, by the way, there's a uh, there's a there's a, a air show in Westminster, Maryland today, because there's a group of planes, a B-24 and a B-17. It's the only one still flying, and they fly around the country, and they're going to be at Westminster only for two days, uh, yesterday and today. <coughs> so today, a bunch of us got in the car and surprised my dad, and we went out there and saw the only B-24 that's still flying. This is the plane that my father, that Josh is talking about, that he flew 24 missions on, risking." Uh, incredible uh, life and limb, as well as his, uh, his teammates, his crew, and uh, his experience here. I know he counts as some of the most important experiences in his life, and he was right up here in the, uh, in the tip of this plane for 24 missions, leaving uh, England and flying over, uh, over the coast, uh, 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 the British, you know, across the British Channel over France, and he did be attacked by German fighters uh, in, deep into Germany to drop bombs uh, over the German military. So. This will now hang over your fireplace, Dad, so thank you for that. <laughs> thank you, Sherry, for getting it off of our fireplace. <laughs> it's hard to explain. <laughs> I, I'd just like to say something. Um, as the aging process, which we all experience in one way or another, goes on, and... Uh, the hearing goes and the eyesight 
changes and so on. Um, there's no loss in aging like the loss of good friends. Nothing matches that. And I've had some wonderful good friends. And when my dearest and oldest friend, Albert Erskine, passed away about 18 years ago, it was Peter de Vries, who, a mutual friend, who wrote, Losing Albert has created a hole in our world. And I still feel that hole. Friends mean that much. And with Arthur Cohn, Elaine's husband, it was the same thing. They, he meant a great deal. It was Roger Shattuck, Bill Arrowsmith, Margaret McElderry, Wolfgang Sauerlander, Arthur Cohn. And, uh, but now I'm blessed because I have so many new friends. <laughs> so I, I really thank you all for that. I thank you all for coming here. It's been a thank you for being here.